I'm at job 24941. It's called Co-op Supply in Everett. We're looking at asphalt repairs out here at this feed supply store. And let me uh, pull up the photo. So here you uh, have Hewitt Avenue out here. Uh, there's plenty of room for staging along the side here. People park kind of right here and they leave this area open for, you know, loading up supplies from the feed store. Anyways, um, bid the base bid's going to be to replace four inches of asphalt. It's kind of what it looks like it is. It's about four inches. You've got a 26 by 12 area right here. You've got an 18 by 7, a 6 by 6. And then you come inside the uh, uh, inside this fenced area. And back here, there's a 4 by 4. The bid option is going to be to redo the whole thing out in the front anyway. So this is concrete edge right here. It goes all the way out to the road. So we would replace this asphalt. Actually, where this says um, 117 feet, I'm thinking maybe we cut this short and not go all the way out to the road. So that way we can do our paver runs from here and make our way this direction. Okay. Uh, then we don't have to get like a street use permit or anything like that. So where it says 117 feet, I need you to take off 10 feet. This will be 110 by 65 take that back just take off seven feet i made it 110 by 65 feet and then uh 28 by 26 what that does is that kind of measures um around this concrete pad there's a concrete pad right where my finger is so it's kind of like a, a little leg piece here and then it widens out and goes all the way up i'll show you what it looks like but those are your dimensions for the whole property be full depth removal and replacement 65 by 110 and then 28 by 26 okay so let me show you what it looks like so we've got this area right here this is that 12 foot wide by 20 whatever that was on there uh there's concrete that goes right there this is all asphalt so we would try to fix this little area there that's in a half circle come out along the concrete fix this and then do this area right here fix that then we would fix that little uh puddle that's right there i called that a six by six you can see there's alligator cracking all the way around all this stuff but if we could patch that up it would help for the forklifts so they don't have to bump into that you come into the fence here on the south end and over there is a four by four uh, pothole repair that needs to be done in the back corner pretty simple <clears throat> and then as far as the uh, the bid option to do everything where my car is at that's concrete that runs all the way up to where that blue cooler is and then it crests over and goes down into the road well we'll stop at the top of the crest and do all of this removal and replacement come along the front here of that concrete pad leave all that alone right there and just do a cut to here and then stay about a foot or two feet away from there come around this uh red barn thing here make a nice 90 degree cut and then go right here to the fence you can see the fence line right here and then you see this uh crack that goes through this is where we'll stop go in front of this over and then from here we'd go right off the wall of the dock here straight line right here okay kind of zigzags around that and then goes out to the front they've got a concrete ramp that's up here and they've got two bollards so just keep in mind that uh we'll have to work around that we'll have to work around some bollards we'll also uh have to keep in mind <coughs> when we go to do this repair how they can get up into the storefront so this asphalt we would fix right here but what we could do is we could leave a little bit of a walkway right there for people to enter in from out in the front okay so that's one option um, I don't know the store hours out here right now 
I'll have to look that up. But as you can see, that's that seam line I was talking about right here, where it crests. That's where we would stop. We won't go up and over. Okay, so we'll just take care of this to here. <clears throat> as a matter of fact, what we could probably do is leave that asphalt alone so they have access in and out. We'll do a straight cut here and then um, go all the way over into that area right there leave that open they don't really have any other options as far as getting in and out of here they've got a set of stairs i believe yeah they got a set of stairs that are down there at the far end but even then uh you know we'd be working on that area too so um just trying to think here how we could do this you know we could actually repair do let's just do what i was saying what we need to do that is to go all the way to the wall and go all the way to the corner let's repair all of that as we're ripping it out they can still have access <clears throat> into the store they can maybe go in on that end while we're doing this end and then as we start to make our way down there you know we can pave this thing up and then open it up at some point so that way they can either get up those stairs or get up those stairs but we'll we'll do all the paving around here let's stick with the dimensions i gave you and uh, we'll fix all the way to the uh, loading dock wall there and go through those red pipes out on that seam and then down the concrete. <laughs> 